Hello Cancer, welcome to a you and them love reading where we're going to be looking at the connection that you're having with a particular person, what are their um, energies towards you and what are your energies towards them, what's going on between you. So let's jump right in and see what messages we have for Cancer. Spirit, angels, guides, messages please, guidance for this sign of Cancer regarding love at this time. What does Cancer need to know? Let's start with what's going on. The mutual energies between you and this other person. Spirit, what's going on between Cancer and this other individual at this time? What's going on? Wow, justice, okay. Libra energy. Well, whatever's going on, I feel like it is meant to happen. It's in the best, it's going to be the best outcome you could have. It's going to be a fair and balanced outcome. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. But what I'm seeing here is, you know, sometimes with justice, you get so many, there's so many interpretations of justice depending on what else we get. So I'm just going to tell you what I see right now and then we'll clarify a little bit. But when I see justice, I think what's meant to be will be someone is looking at all of the facts in an objective way seeing all angles of a situation and are able to make the right decision um so let's see this could also be something official happening something that has to do with legal matters or maybe someone's just making a final decision um based on what's best for them right what what the right thing to do is Tell me more about justice and what's going on here between Cancer and this other person. Oh, I got two. The King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and the Ace of Cups. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. So I feel like whatever is happening, Cancer, it's it's meant to happen and it's going to be a very good outcome regarding whoever this is. It could be an, a water sign like you. There's a lot of feelings here. Uh, the king of cups is very compassionate they're you know very loving caring kind someone could be seeing you this way but with ace of cups and the justice card i think of a new beginning that's fair to you um, a love that is fair and balanced um i'm also getting like mutual energy like you both have mutual feelings for each other you both care about each other a lot so let's get some energies here Spirit, can I get some more insight into the energies between Cancer and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know regarding Cancer? Okay, we have past life. You've had a connection with this person in the past. So this could be a past life connection for you, someone that you're already aware of. Unhealthy attachment also came out. And unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. This could be in the form of a person, an interference, unhealthy habits, unhealthy influences, toxic energy that could be um, impacting this connection. What else do we need to know for cancer? budding romance new love romance courtship so what i'm get getting here cancer i'm getting that this is a connection that has some sort of a history there's divine timing um this does not have to be that you ha you and this person had a connection in this life but there was a connection somewhere and i feel like you're being brought together but at the same time there's an obstacle that's kind of like in the midst of this connection with unhealthy attachment. It's almost like it's interrupting things. It's like a thorn on the side of this connection. Let's get some insight into how you are feeling about each other. I'm gonna start with you, Cancer. I'm gonna um, concentrate on your energy and then I'll move into this person's energy. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Okay, so let's see. Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer's energy when it comes to this person, this connection spirit. What do we need to know about Cancer's energy? Eight of Pentacles, putting in effort, time, energy into something. Um, I feel like uh, Cancer, I'm speaking to a Cancer that's willing to 
put in work and might even be thinking that there's something to work on in this relationship or this connection. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, I think in your there's something here with divine timing, obviously, because it already came out here. But I'm also getting timing. Yes, there's a temperance card, Sagittarius energy at the bottom of the deck. Something's happening slowly, but it's almost like it's it, it, that's the best way that this could be. Like, that's the best speed for everything that's happening. The Ace of Pentacles is right behind this. Um, I think Cancer, I'm speaking to a Cancer, I guess I should say. I start, should say because this isn't going to resonate with every Cancer watching. But I'm speaking to a Cancer where you feel like the work that you're putting in, you, you're going to get something out of it. There's going to be a reward at the end of it. Maybe you even think this person is your soulmate. You feel that, that uh, strong attachment. Um, you feel like this has, you know, a lot of potential. Um, can I get one more, please, for Cancer? What do we need to know? The Chariot. There you are, Cancer. Moving forward. Yeah, I, I feel like in your mind, you know, maybe you've had some ups and downs in this connection. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, but it's not forever. Um, I don't feel like this is a difficulty that you can't overcome. I don't feel like this is an insurmountable obstacle. Um, in your mind, I feel like you already know the answer to how to move forward when it comes to this person or this connection. Um, it's just going to take work, effort, time. But it, it, it's going to be worth it. It's kind of the energy I'm picking up here for you. Like you see the worth... Um, of it's almost like you see the success on the other side of all of this work can i get some insight please in to cancer's energy i'm using all of my oracle decks in this video so um feel free to check out the description box hold on i'm getting a message Okay, there's something, okay, some of you, there, there's something to do with finances. I'm almost like the obstacle is money. But you see a way around it. It's almost like you, you know that that's the problem, but it can be fixed. Okay, so we got something there. There may be something there that wasn't there before. New love, realizations, second chances. Second chances at love. Um, what I was saying before I interrupted myself, if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using, I sell them on my Etsy shop and they're linked in the description box um, of this video if you want to check those out. Bottom of the deck is Princess Divine Feminine Energy. I think you and this person are getting a second chance. It's like you and this other person, um, you're, you're being brought together in divine timing. I feel like that and it's meant to be that way. Tell me more. Tell me more for Cancer. What are their energies when it comes to this connection or this individual? I can't see myself with anyone else but you. So this is your person, Cancer. At least in your eyes, you don't see yourself with anybody else but this individual. Bottom of the deck, you will always be in my heart. Oh yeah, you're very loyal to this person. I think you feel this connection is very special. There's something about this connection that's different. Um, and I do feel like for a lot of you, the feelings are mutual here. Let's look at this person. Tell me about this person, Spirit, that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? Some of you, I feel like you've been waiting for this person. Like this chariot is you literally waiting for this person to arrive. And now that they're here, it's like there's, you know, no little obstacle is going to get in the way of you having your love or your soulmate or having this work out. Tell me about this person. The High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. 
So I feel like this person has been secretly admiring you or has some sort of secret regarding their attraction or affection for you. Maybe it's taking them a while to admit their feelings for you. Maybe they cannot love you in the open. Maybe there's something keeping them from being free to love you. I'm not sure what that might be. Tell me about the high priestess. Maybe some of uh, you have been dealing with a person that's waiting for you to be sim single and available. I cannot talk today. Tell me about the high priestess, please. Yeah, two of wands. I feel like this person has been waiting to open up, waiting to reveal how they feel. Um, three of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So again, I feel like there's some sort of interference. And it could be in the form of a, a, a third person does not have to be a romantic partner. It could be a family member, a coworker, a boss, um, an old partner, um, children, something. Something in the form of a person, I feel, is kind of causing this individual to hesitate. Yeah, but the Six of Wands is here as well. So, you know, again, I don't feel like these obstacles are going to derail this connection. Like, I don't see that these obstacles, like there's no way around them. I don't see that. Tell me about this person's energy when it comes to cancer or this connection. Tell me about this person's energy. The sword, courage, defense, conflict. I feel like this person, whatever obstacles exist, I feel like they're willing to attack them head on with sword, um, willing to defend, willing to deal with a conflict, um, willing to be brave against an issue or an obstacle. Can I get one more, please? Tell me more about this person's energies towards cancer. Horse, action, motivation, energy, definitely. So, Cancer, what you need to know about this person is just as you are willing to put in the work and take action here, or at least you're willing to put in the work that will set you on the right path, so is this person. Like, I feel like this person is also willing to do that. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Cancer. Tell me more, Spirit. What do we need to know? How this person's energies towards Cancer. Looking back. So this person's been looking back at the past. I think you have a history with this person. A lot of you do. And this person's thinking about that history. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. Okay, so I'm wondering if this person has admitted their feelings for you, Cancer. Because I feel like the feelings are mutual here. Let me clarify that two of wands. Spirit, tell me about this two of wands with this high priestess energy. What do we need to know about the two of wands with the high priestess here? The knight of pentacles. So I feel like this person will take their time getting this offered to you, but it's coming. It's like they're waiting for the right time. And that's and maybe that's why divine timing is here. Divine timing is going to assist this person in getting their happy ending. The Ten of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. So maybe this person has just been looking back at the past. Maybe something has reminded them of you. And they're thinking of actually speaking up here. I don't think they've done this yet. But they're thinking about it. And then the horse being here with sword is like they're going to be brave enough to take this action i think they've been admiring you from afar i feel like this is you you're this nine of pentacles and they're like wow look at look at cancer look how well cancer is doing i feel like i need to bring an offer that's good enough for cancer and i'm willing to do that yeah they're going to take a risk there's the fool they're going to take a risk and look what's behind it the, the temperance card again it's just going to be in the right time. So I feel like Cancer, 
you might have to be a little patient here with this individual or a little patient about this connection. I'm going to take this to the extended. The extended have a uh, lower price point for a limited time. So feel free to check it out because um, we're going to look at the challenges or blocks in this connection specifically. Um, what advice Spirit might have for you for those. And then this person's next moves so that we could see where all of this is headed in the near future. So if you'd like to know that, check out the extended. It's linked down in the description box. Um, like I said, at a limited um, discounted price. So I'll leave it here, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.